And the value of the euro has sunk to a nine-year low amid worries about Greece and the wider state of the EU economy. The currency dipped below $1.19, that's its lowest level since 2005, before recovering slightly later on Monday. The latest falls follows reports in Germany that Chancellor Merkel believes the eurozone will manage if Greece decides to leave the currency union. French President Francois Hollande says it's up to the Greeks to decide whether to stay in the euro. Well, here with me now in the studio is Vincenzo Scarpetta, a political analyst with the think tank Open Europe. He specializes in the politics and economics of Southern Europe. Well, you've had a busy few years then. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. So we've heard the comments there from Angela Merkel and uh, Francois Hollande. Are people, are politicians in Europe seriously starting to envision a eurozone without Greece? Well, we had this story in, uh, in a German magazine, the Spiegel, saying that basically uh, Angela Merkel th now thinks that uh, a Greek exit from the Eurozone would be manageable and would be almost inevitable if uh, uh, the left-wing opposition party Syriza wins uh, the next election and refuses to stick to Greece, Greece's commitments under the bailout plans. But, uh, uh, of course, the, the German government has later sort of denied these this reports, but has made clear that uh, Germany expects any Greek government coming out of the elections to stay on course, stay on the current path and continue with this recipe of fiscal discipline and structural reforms. Uh, I think uh, François Hollande's comments were a bit more cautious. Uh, he just said that it's up to the Greeks to decide uh, about, about the destiny. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, both countries are sort of uh, keeping their cards close to their chest because they don't want to, to be seen as interfering in what is uh, a domestic matters, national elections. But the national elections where one party is going exactly contrary to what Angela Merkel was saying, as in Syriza's clearly saying they would want to uh, renegotiate. Um, do you think that Greece leaving would set a precedent for countries perhaps like Italy to leave, which would then be a lot harder for the EU to manage? Or do you think we're just not there yet? Well, there are two aspects here to consider. On the financial point of view, uh, it's true that now, compared to 2012, the, the has uh, more tools uh, to uh, try and, uh, and isolate ring fence Greece. Uh, of course, uh, we also have to consider the political contagion. So uh, Greece leaving the Eurozone would set the president. Uh, first of all, um, if Syriza were to lead uh, Greece out of the Eurozone, that could possibly boost uh, similar parties in other countries. I'm thinking of Podemos in Spain, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is also a contagion uh, to, to, to a certain extent in terms of who's next, so a sort of domino effect uh, in the Eurozone. So if Greece has left the Eurozone, then it's possible to do so also for other countries. Uh, at the start of the program, our lead story was these anti-Islam, anti-immigration protests that we're seeing across Germany, which kind of shows how the economic crisis across Europe is having an impact politically uh, across the Union. Do you think, considering the hostility there now is towards the EU and the Eurozone, especially in Greece, Italy, the southern uh, countries, do you think the, e the Euro is actually salvageable as it exists, a pan-European uh, currency? Uh, it's, it's a very hard question to answer at the moment. I think we are up for some very interesting times ahead because uh, we already have at the moment uh, at least two uh, Eurozone leaders, François Hollande and Matteo Renzi in Italy, who are uh, sort of trying to uh, reorient the economic policy of the Eurozone. Uh, and potentially we are looking at, uh, we don't know yet, but we, we may be looking at the Syriza led government in Greece and then Podemos uh, is, a, is, is on course for a strong showing in Spain. So we are looking potentially to a, a much stronger uh, anti-austerity front in the Mediterranean and that could, could set set the scene for a, for a showdown with, uh, with Germany. So and could this be the year that either makes or breaks the euro? Well, it, it will be the year where uh, the, I think the rules governing the eurozone will, will come, will be put into question and uh, will come under discussion again. Vincenzo Scarpetta, uh, political analyst with the think tank Open Europe, thank you so much for your time.